is important. This should be documented. Chauncey's gonna be on a game show. Yeah. In his pajamas. And it's not like, let's make a deal. You're not dressed as a chicken or anything. I'm too busy chatting. I'll explain this here in a second. Okay, yeah. so, there's a game show called Take My Bitcoins. And I just happen to be the manager of the Sasquatch mining team. I know a lot about Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Last week on the game show, um, well, basically to get contestants, they ask questions in a chat. It could be about anything. And uh, we just answer them. And if you, if you answer first the correct question, they will call you. If you're international, they'll use Skype and call you. And if you, once you call in, you get to go through the game show, like the Price is Right, over the phone. And uh, then if you win stuff, you get Bitcoin. Or if you win in the game, then you get Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are worth money. So essentially you're worth, you make money. So we'll see if I do well tonight. The show starts in 2 minutes and 56 seconds. Well, leave it on right now. That's me. Hey, who is this? This is uh, Chauncey Friend here in Indianapolis. Hey, Nicholas. Welcome to the show. How are you? Do you have Bitcoin? Do you mind? Do you use Bitcoin? Tell me about you. I am. I am uh, the manager of the Sasquatch mining team. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we pull our uh, we pull our mining, and then we uh, we buy upgrade equipment together, and hope for the future. That's awesome. Uh, great. So welcome to the show. So hopefully we can help out your pool a little bit. Or are you gonna use this to do your own personal use? I guess, right? What's that? Are you gonna use this for your own personal use, or are you gonna give it to your team if you win? Ah, uh, we'll give a little bit to the team, and probably uh, a little bit to the wife. Oh, nice. The wife. All right. Here we go. So uh, this is this or that. You know how to. I do know how to play, yes. Alright, so here's your categories to choose from. Here we go. Food or drink. Choose a category. Food or drink. Let's go with uh, food. Go with food, okay. Each one is worth .05. I'm going to be handed the food card. Alright, here we go. Wow, that was really slick. <laughs> okay, you are going to tell me. I'm going to give you an item. You're going to tell me if each item is a king or a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cookie. That's a cookie. It is a cookie. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, the next one is Tickles. Cookie or dictator? Say again? Tickles. 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 Tickles.
I have no idea. I don't think that's a cookie. I'm going to say dictator. It just sounds like a dictator. I think that's a German cookie, man. <laughs> a European cookie of some sort. Wow. Thanks, Mike. I just won. Almost half a Bitcoin. Because you only missed two. I just won more than... than if you got them all right, you would have had mine. half a Bitcoin. It's, I it's just won more it's, than these things can mine in like it's back six lit. months. <laughs> but, There's a lot of equipment right yeah. here. 0.4 Bitcoins times... Right now the exchange rate's like $498. I just won $200. So people who say Bitcoin's a Ponzi scheme, you can stick it in your ear. <laughs> With a Tim Tam. <laughs> yeah. So I go eat a Tim. This one too. Yeah. Go eat a Tim Tam with Pol Pot. You know how I knew Pol Pot was a dictator? It's because he's Eddie Izzard has referenced him. Oh really? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the show. Yeah. Hello. I made Chauncey's day by suggesting pizza. Pizza! Chauncey's favorite. Pizza, pizza. Pizza. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Pizza Hut. Unfortunately, but we though, do our own. we didn't get the crust that we wanted. No. We got Betty Crocker, which we've never really made before. It's, it's obviously different as I need the dough out here. Stretch it out. Because it doesn't doesn't want to stretch out like Jiffy dough does. So it's kind of condensing. Look in the oven. Bacon! So we didn't get pepperoni, but we did bacon, which is... Better. Could be. We'll see. What do you mean could be? For pizza, is pepperoni bacon... is the standby. No, bacon. Bacon goes on everything. Bacon works on everything. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Mushrooms on high. This, this is magic happening here. Bacon. Mm. Rachie does love bacon. I do. For all of you watching, this is called the friend technique. I just invented it. Take some scissors, you throw them through the dishwasher so they're clean. Some That's tongs. always a good thing. Make sure you have a good grasp on some crispy bacon. You don't want floppy bacon. And you just shear off appropriate sizes until it's basically covered. <laughs> If you know what's good for you, if you're making a pizza for Rachie, you don't skimp on the bacon. Nope. See, I know what's good for me. I'm covering this thing. Probably what should. Are you really? I probably there, should have thawed out more. There's bacon. no more. You see her? She's she's correcting me because she wants more bacon. <laughs> hey, you know. That's Done. Okay. It's okay. Ready? Yeah. Anything else you'd like on there? Nope. Alright, going in the oven. I'm a simple kind of you're gal. Just a, you're just a pizza and bacon kind of reachy. Yes, exactly. In it goes. Here's uh, the Chauncey creation. I call this the day off. <laughs> because we have everything on here. We have, this is Chianti based salami. This is bacon. We have jalapenos mushrooms, cheese, and fancy sauce. 
little bit of garlic salt too. And there you go. How's that go again? What? How's that go again? I don't know. So when my mom was working in the kitchen, she's like me and looking in the Tupperware cabinet, how things are stacked. Semi-organized, semi-not organized, pretty much not organized. When things when she opens it and things start falling out, she goes. Sounds like a sound effect from Jurassic Park. Maybe that's what they used to make Jurassic Park. When your mom didn't get paid enough then. <laughs> and I'm ruining my dinner by eating dessert first. Be okay. Because these are awesome. In Home Alone, remember, he's like, don't spoil your dinner and he gives them two Tic Tacs. Mm. I don't like jelly beans, except for these. Starburst ones? Mm-hmm. I bought two bags. There's one bag here. And then there's, there's, there's a bag at my desk at work. <laughs> I'm really going to need to take you to the dentist this year. Because I'm eating jelly beans? Yes. Mm. So when the dentist says, hey. Say what? So when the dentist goes, hey. Your teeth could be better. I can be like, well, they need to stop making Starburst jelly beans. <laughs> That's right. Leave it on the jelly beans. Exactly. How cliche. Stairway to heaven, really. <laughs> In this house, I don't say no stairway. <laughs> Ooh, you're out of focus. Why are you out of focus? Because the camera's going. It's cloudy outside, yet it looks like... It looks like a mess outside, is what it looks like. <laughs> the pile is growing. Every now and then. I'll, uh... Just go through the closets and the drawers and reevaluate my wardrobe. And I've been doing that slowly but surely over the last ooh, month or so. And I've developed quite a pile. So we'll be having a yard sale, garage sale, tag sale, whatever you want to call it. We call them yard sales here. At least that's what I do here probably within a couple weeks once we get a, uh, a decent weekend and you can see weather today not so nice of course it's not the weekend either not anymore it's Monday um, Chauncey took a long weekend from work because um, he's been really 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 busy um, and he's got stuff he wanted to take care of outside of work so he took Friday off and he took today off and then obviously he had Saturday and Sunday and I only work part-time so my schedule's a bit more flexible so we've been home all weekend he's out there he's out there programming I can't show you though because what he's working on is super top secret so but while he's doing that I am going to um, see what else I can add to the garage pile the garage sale pile since it's too gross to be outside and do anything and the fruits of my labor those two bags that one bag got too full the both bags got way too full so I ended up getting a Rubbermaid tote and as you can see it's really full now granted this is not all new stuff that I put in here um, this includes the stuff in the bag that was overflowing plus what I pulled out of my closet <laughs> and drawers yesterday so yeah and then there's still stuff in that bag but it's different stuff some of it's the same stuff there's a couple pairs of shoes in there and a purse that were part of the pile before but yeah lots and lots I actually have like this bottom drawer here or drawer this bottom uh, 
bar here actually has a lot of like wiggle room. Like if I pushed everything over, I would still have a lot of space for stuff. Ooh, excuse me. Not that I'm going to fill it because the whole point was to get rid of stuff that I don't wear and only keep stuff I do wear and wear what I've got. So I'm not going to go crazy and go to the mall and buy a bunch of pants or something. So I should be good with these for a while at least. Although I do have one pair of my one pair of skinny jeans do need to be replaced because the um, thigh inner thigh area starting to run thin <laughs> is getting to the point where you can kind of see through the fabric so those will need to be replaced but I'm just gonna wait until like Old Navy has a sale on their jeans because I know their jeans fit well and they're made well and they're reasonably priced especially on sale so other than my skinny jeans um, everything else will stay as is I hope <laughs> and then even this spot here this spot I mean it's still really full but I mean I actually have wiggle room to actually get to stuff before it was just it was still really tight in here so but, and a lot of this I not I don't uh, I don't put away my clothing when it's out of season just because you never know if I lived anywhere else I probably could get away with that like if I lived in Florida or something I could probably get away with that but not in Indiana like, it's supposed to be 75 degrees a day, but I think later in the week it's supposed to be like 50. So, things like the sweaters need to hang around, even in spring and summer, just because you never know in Indiana. We're just weird like that. But yeah, I'm actually quite proud of myself that I actually have room to, you know, pull stuff out and put stuff back in without having to be like... A librarian putting a book on a really full shelf.